Hello everybody, this is Harry from more Let's Play Digimon World. And it's come to this. Oh well, at least he's on my chart. Nom nom nom. Manor time. I honestly don't expect him to live more than a few minutes, because I don't think he gets a boost from this. A lifespan boost. Well, it wasn't the Digimon I was hoping for, but I did get six out of this. Wow, he looked really, really shocked to be an Edamon. Tell me his stats don't take a nosedive from this. Yeah, look about right. Whoop, no, 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 no. Let's give him some moves. He's on a kick and make a ton punch. starting to get ferociously pissed right now. Um, it is almost 7 a.m. and I stand until I'm at 10. See, I'm having one of those days. <clears throat> also, I took several hours off to watch the newsroom, because I like that show. It's a fun show. Very enjoyable. Now, since he has really good stats, we're actually going to keep him as he is. That actually worked out, because for some reason I was trying to talk to Tokomon, but this is what I was actually trying to do, was use that. 77. 23 more to go. Well, I didn't get Skull Greymon, but I did get Edamon, and that counts for something. Would have counted more if I'd gotten it when I had Sukumon, but we've had this argument. Ta-da! Yay! We're gonna fight some poop monsters now. The Factorial Town. Why? Well, I don't think this boosts his lifespan at all, and he's got one or two fights in him. I want to see what Dark Network looks like. Incidentally, my strategy guide lists that as Love Serenade, not Dark Knight. And yes, I even tried praising him up to full him and doing some battles to just took another time. Wow, he barely missed that. Really? Go ahead. Oh, that hurt. No, Megaton Punch is the better attack. Obviously, I went to get all the money today. Alright, I really need to get it like the cap, so I need to figure out who's that. Hit him with the dark network. Whatever this looks like. Ah, oh, that's why they called it Love Serenade, because that's what it fucking was. Anyway.
Well, that was a success. Not the rousing success I was hoping for, but I'll take it. So sleepy right now. Wow, Edamon does not like it here at all. He is not pleased with me right now. <laughs> I was just saying that I was tired. Small world. I think these are pretty close to stats I should have had when I was at them all. They certainly exceed the stats I was supposed to have to get at them all. But, uh... Back to that guy. I want him down first. Okay, let's check him in. Wow, he hit the Sukumon. That's incredible. The wrong Digimon there. Oh, if my monkey gets an attack when he gets to throw poop, I will be so happy. I shouldn't be, but I will be. Because I'll have a Digimon that throws poop as a monkey. Please throw poop. Please throw poop. Prime opportunity to make something of yourself, Edamon. And you blew it. Like an episode of Lost Tapes, the Devil Monkey. <laughs> That's hilarious! I love it. A little jig and then he goes to bed. That's awesome. Strut? He fucking struts! I love it! That's Edamon for you. Yeah, I don't expect him to live too much longer. Unless turning into an ultimate really does reset the clock, but I don't think it does. Not enough. But we'll see. I just, um, give the mic a call and second call in again, and it's still not in. I don't think it's ever taken till sunrise before. And double check the thing, it's like, yeah, if you're eligible, it'll happen by on the second. Well, it's the fucking second. 
Damn it. Digimon I can that I need to throw down with. Oh, man. Dark network. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I got time to do it. I don't think I do, but let's see if I do. Did he just grab that? Hide it and then eat it? Oh, I love Edamon. He's got the best animations. Let's get this shit over with while I can. That's awesome. Shadow the Devil Monkey. You know, as much as I would have loved to have Skull Greymon, I'm kinda glad it turned out this way. Because, uh, I'd have had to get Edamon eventually anyway. And now I just have him have him, you know? And maybe it did reset his life clock, I don't know. He's still alive, he probably shouldn't be. as many of these as I can. And then as many of these as I can. And then away. Also, we're gonna get rid of the horizontal kick, that's a joke of a move. I just wanted to see the animation. Or maybe it doesn't matter what the animation would have been. Because now he's dead. But I have not given up hope on Skull Greymon. Or Greymon himself. And that, friends, is why you don't use digivolving items for an ultimate. Because you don't get any extra time. Champions, sure. All you're doing is saving a step like I did the Seeking. But never, ever use them for an ultimate. Because you don't really get any stat boosts. You don't get any extra time. Guy, we're doing this again. We're going with soft. Yes, I'm trying for, for Skull Greymon again. Hopefully, it'll work better than the last six times I tried for him, right? But uh, soft is after Lord Soth from Dragonlance. He was a Death Knight. Come on, what more appropriate name could there be for something inspiring to become a Skull Greymon? Right? Right. Anyway, um... We're gonna do that thing where I make a badass ultimate. God! 
Correct me if I'm wrong, do I just see a baby gain 11 points of stats? Because I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I just want. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, alright. And now he poops, and then he goes to bed. Kinda like me, kinda like Kisa. What, now he wants food too? Now, this time around, it's very, very important that my Agumon gets into some fights. I know that seems to be my least favorite part of the training process, but it is an important part. And not fighting has screwed me out of several ultimates. So yes, you absolutely do have to fight. It's There are so many Digimon whose special thing is, oh, get into this many fights and have this many techniques. If you don't, you kind of fuck yourself, like I did. If I had focused more on fighting and then doing my stats, I'd have had Skullgreymon. I'd have had Edamon. going on for that particular Digimon. Sukumon didn't really have the, the power to fight with what I had to work with. Also, Koromon is such a weird beauty. Oh my god. Koromon just seems like it'd be just the most huggable Digimon ever. It's nice to have a po uh, Pokemon, a Digimon who actually needs or wants his Discipline Eye, because the last two Digimon not so good on the Discipline Bar, and it fucked me a lot. Fucked me pretty damn hard, actually, because Devimon damn near died because he wasn't healed, or not healed, he wasn't obeying me, but I got to show off all their attacks, so... That's the thing. And I got my Edamon. And I might still get Skull Greymon. Emphasis on might. I really do hope I'll be something other than the Agumon line soon. Because I have been horribly neglecting the other types of Digimon. I do need to get a Sunamon soon in one of its versions. So I can show off another type of rookie. I think I've only shown off four rookies. Panamon, um, Agumon, Betamon, and Punamon. And I'm on, what, my sixth Digimon? Seventh Digimon, and I've shown off four rookies. That's not... That's not exactly prime. Now we see. Save and go. Save 
decided to cook, not cook the poop. The poop, the whole poop, and nothing but the goddamn poop. I, I would love to have them re-release this fixed so that things do what they're supposed to do, like the porta potty does actually, you know, stop you from losing weight. Etc. Because there, there's, and I would love to get the the stats post stage evolution that this thing says I do. Maybe I just have a crappy copy of the game, but I don't know what it is. The same copy I've had, and it was similar when I rented a copy. Of the game. I don't know. Maybe this is a bad batch in this part of Florida. It's. it's Just want to point out how powerful these little ones are getting. Yes, mm -hmm. Between their enhanced stats from me having a high tamer level and just the training they're getting, it's kind of kind of potent. I do, I don't know, but it's possible also that my tamer level is increasing the stat damage. It wouldn't surprise me if it was. Oh god, sneeze. <coughs> oh god, more sneeze. But I do hate having the Digimon that require me to abuse my Digimon. Like, I didn't like the fact that Devimon required me to hurt Angemon. Because I'm sure that didn't exactly do wonders for my lifespan, either. Sirloin, you're going through them pretty quick. No, I don't think I ever did talk to Leo Mar to see what the hell he's here for. For a second there, when it stopped, I thought, is he gonna digivolve now? Which wouldn't be that shocking. He's, a, he's an entrainer, which is what they do. Ah, so he does nothing, he's flavored. I've even seen Ogremon. So we recruited him, and we did recruit him. I remember that. It's forever ago, but I remember it. 43 episodes in. Where does the time go? completely clear on what speed does in this game. Like, is it, uh, does it make you attack faster? Does it make it move faster? Does it make you respond to commands faster? I don't know what it does. Supposedly it makes you, uh, your, your animations happen faster, but I don't know. Again, what, the third, fourth Agumon I've had? I go through a lot of them. Back on the palms, little guy. I need you to eat. He's extremely happy with me. And he likes it here, too. 
after the logamon. Not pleased about that. How heavy are you? You're 18. He's dropped to like 16 or less. Meaning drop less weight, drop to 17 or 16. Because if you drop to 15, you just undone that sirloin. So he only drops two, so he's at least going to have a stable weight gain. Hi, Kisa. I almost forgot the most important step. Get some battles done. Also, let's uh, give you some text to play with. I'm gonna fight both of these guys three times total. So that I can get... So that I'll lock out the random. Doing good on uh, Greymon. Oh shit, that hurts. Greymon wants a 90% discipline gauge or higher. That's one. Plus, this is also minor training for me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good, good little Agumon. Continue to be disobedient. I like that. That gives me a chance to make you obedient. Damn it. Still this. Damn it. Oh, well. As long as I keep him behaving, his is going to go up all on his own. Again, this is a case where it's important not to neglect battles, because these battles will mean the difference between Greymon and Tyranmon. Because I know I've got the stats for Greymon. That's never been in question. Well, it might have been a little bit in question when I had Maramon. Actually, I think I might have done Maramon intentionally. I know I was leaning towards Maramon, but I think he might have been intentional. I know Tyranamon, I meant that brain Oh, Wow, he walked right into it. Three. We're gonna do all six of his battles now, so that we worry about it in the next video.
otherwise overkill to a large enemy. Not like I don't exactly have a to spare or something, but still. Really. worth of stuff. Because I don't want to leave this off with four battles, because that's enough to get Tyrannomon. I want Tyrannomon. I want Greymon. I need new stuff for the chart, not the old stuff done over again. Yeah, the only, uh, only Digivolution item for an ultimate I really wanted, well, besides the Golden Banana, because he's a bitch to get was Vedamon's Ray Gun, and that's only because that way I would have a guarantee, but now that I've had him, I don't want him anymore. I never want him again, because I can't film him using the audio. That damn Magma Bomb will wait for Also, I need to raise him a little bit better before he him into real battle. And have the brains drawn. He has the brains for, you know, the, the brain. Good, you dropped a, uh, Arius for me. I'm out of those. Shit. Hold on. Sorry, that was me twitching my leg. I'd have been shocked if the camera had to be flooded for that. I'm up this way in the hopes that I'll actually get some freaking dinner or breakfast or whatever the fuck. I should have been shopping six or seven hours ago. Five of my six battles, this is the one that'll put it over. This is the one that should lock out the animal. Battle number six. I'm confused that I've been defeated by a magma bomb. More confused that he shrugged off the one he did. Then again, I am still kind of weak. sure Greymon's a 30-pounder, which is also important. But it's more important to keep his discipline gauge very, very high, because locking out Tyrannomons and getting uh, Greymon's the 95% discipline gauge. I keep them behaving. Good things are bound to happen. Ooh, five ceremonies. Yay! Come 
Mom, refuse it. Please. Good, did you, Mom? Now, move it again. I got it good with what I got. So that's, that's important. Speaking of important, let's work those stats. Let's work them hard, work them good. I really wish those post evolution stats were a true thing, because if they were, for Greymon, I'd be looking at uh, 2,000, 1,500, 200, 200. Actually, those are horrible stats. I can do better than that. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. I'm a liar. I want my stats. Wouldn't mind an incremental improvement, though. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I wasn't trying for Greymon the first time around, just because Naramon was lighter, I could have more care of a and had significantly less requirements. Don't you poop. Don't you poop. Don't you dare poop. Yes, that one stupid care mistake is enough for me to reset over. I can't believe he fucking snuck a poop in. It's a fucking ninja poop. I should have fed him a porta potty. That's what I should have fucking done. It's my own stupid fault. Oh well. So we redo the battles again. Big fucking deal. Again, if you must, just think of this as the poor man's save state. Agumon Aromal. <laughs> save states would make this infinitely easier. I will say that. If you if you have to play this, if you have... It, it is much easier to do on an emulator. Because you have save states. I can literally choose to never not get a move. I think you get bonus tries and get ridiculously high speed. No? Because if you use bonus tries, I think you get like uh, like I'm pulling 18 or I'm pulling 11. I could be pulling 20s or so on each step with bonus try, but it's not worth it. it really. Is. Number five happening. Now please refuse this. Come on, Agumon. Please be cooperative with me and not cooperate with me so I can get you to some day job. So that we can ensure that you're gonna be a gray mom. Oh, that's a homing attack. Though. Some of these attacks you can dodge. Magma Bomb is not one of them. It just hits you and you can't do shit about it. Please refuse this, Agumon. Please refuse this, Agumon.
again, it's worth pointing out that uh, giving him food, enough to make him full, taking him to the bathroom, these are things that improve his happiness and his discipline. So, as long as you take good care of him, those things will go up. They just won't go up fast enough. And if I'm so inclined, I can scold him into higher discipline. Which may be a thing. But he's still got a good three days left before I have to worry about him becoming a great mom. Maybe enough time. Don't know. We'll see. No, no veggies for us. God, I'm just delirious since sleeping. I'm not delirious yet, but oh. It'll happen if I stay up too much longer. It's late. I may as well just push till 9 o'clock and feed him. Ninja poops, Ag Agumon. Be a good little yellow dinosaur and not poop. Poop, just do it in the designated areas. This is the part where he got me last time. He snuck in ninja poop. Yup, there it is. God damn ninja poop. Kind of like The Sims now that I think about it, with more fighting, of course. And less drowning. Then again, I'm not one of those sociopaths who murders their Sims for My Sims live long, fulfilling lives. Manufacturing hundreds upon hundreds of lawn gnomes. Yeah, it turns out it's real easy to, to game the system by making lawn gnomes. Kind of a poor man's cheat, really. Because one of the things I do is I like to max out all my skills and then do the jobs and all that. But, um... Naturally, one of the skills you get is, uh... Mechanical. Well, you can boost your mechanical by getting a bench that makes lawn gnomes. Well, eventually, you wind up cluttered with fucking lawn gnomes and there's no room to put them. What you're probably supposed to do is take them and uh, move them around the house. What I do is I take them and sell them. And at first, we thought, as well, these are like only a couple bucks, they're not even worth the effort. But the more lawn gnomes you get, they, they add up, because it doesn't cost you anything to make them. And then you sell them for like, oh, here's two bucks, five bucks, etc. And the higher your skill gets, the more the lawn gnomes are worth, until they're worth like a hundred bucks a lawn gnome. And why even bother having a job at that point when you're just building a lawn gnome empire? I love how he kind of turns his head in shame, like, oh, this came out of me. It's worse than my pepper breath. Certainly more harmful to the environment. I don't know why it amuses me that Digimon's never been afraid to poop. Because even in the censored American version, there are frequent trips to the bathroom in that show. Yeah, this is gonna be the last one for a while. Yeah, I feel you, bud. 
Anyway, I'm Kyrx, and this has been Let's Play Digimon World. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.